Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the income journey. And in today's video, I'm gonna be covering my niche site business in December, 2021. I started this business back in January of 2021. So it's been about 11 months now, full months since we started the site and things are going really, really well. And in this video, I'm gonna break down the traffic stats, uh, the revenue, and essentially just show you guys like what's possible in 12 months of blogging. The first seven months, I really didn't do too much work on the site at all. I think I probably put, you know, 60 to 70 posts on the site in the first seven months. So really not putting in that much effort, but then I started to see some growth and I started to go a little bit harder in the last sort of four months or so uh, that I've been working on this. So let's take a look at how things are going uh, and then our plans moving forward into 2022, which is insane to say, I can't believe it's 2022 uh, already, but here we are. So the first things first is just a quick overview. December was a huge month for the site. Things went really, really well uh, and things are looking great moving into the start of 2022. 20 it says here but that's actually 2022 uh again i don't know why i've put 2020 there but i can't believe it's 2022 so next up is our traffic stats right here you can see 70,000 page views on the site in november you guys seen that in the last update video and i think we grew about 48 percent last month this month we grew about 39 percent from 70,000 page views to 97,000 page views in December. Now, definitely in Ezoic, that reports a lot more page views than that. I think Ezoic reports about 108,000 page views. You'll see that whenever we look at revenue here in a minute. Uh, so I'm gonna take that, you know, the numbers somewhere in between them two numbers. We did hit roughly, you know, 100,000 page views in under 12 months on this site. As someone who didn't really know much about blogging at all, in the start of this journey. And again, you know, the first seven months really didn't do too much work on the site. So a combination of increased search volume on some of the keywords, you'll see that in a second, uh, as well as just, you know, lots of new articles getting indexed allowed us to hit that target this month, which was really, really nice. In terms of search console here, you can see the growth. Uh, we had about a 50% growth in uh, total clicks from November to December and impressions went from 1.89 million to 2.58 million. So as long as them numbers just keep going up, I am happy. Our average position always went, uh, also went from 12 to 11.5 and our click through rate also increased. So all numbers going in the right direction, which is what we like to see. Next up is this little screenshot here, which I like to show you guys. You can see October, November, and December, and this is the top 10 articles each month in Search Console. And you can see in November and December, uh, to the top two articles really exploded here. You can see that in October, they were getting about 3,000 and 2,400. Uh, and in November here, it did 6,100 and 5,100. And then in December, that all grew again to nearly 9,000 clicks and 6,500 clicks. So these two articles are bringing in a lot of my traffic. Let's say that on average, they bring in 20,000 page views a month. That's about 20% of my traffic in two articles, which is more than I would like. However, I'm not going to complain at all. It's bringing in revenue that we can reinvest in other content. And obviously just as we grow the site and things get bigger, hopefully they just kind of get diluted down by other big articles that pop up. And again, you don't know which articles are going to take off. These are two completely random articles that I put on the site that I had no idea had so much search volume. You know, Ahrefs or any of the other keyword tools did not pull up that these were doing 9,000 clicks per month. These were just low competition keywords that I find. I wrote the articles just like I do on every other keyword that I find and we see how much traffic they bring in. These tools really aren't that accurate at all from my experience. You can get some idea of whether or not it's worth going for something, but sometimes you'll just hit things that really pop off. You can see the other articles here are, you know, pulling in pretty nicely. We've got a few articles doing, you know, 2,700, 2,200, uh, and then everything here is pulling in anywhere from 1,800 to 1,200 in the top 10 we're also getting a lot more articles just doing you know anywhere from 500 to 700 to a thousand uh, kind of page views per month as well which is really nice and we're definitely beefing out the amount of articles that have you know over 500 page views each month which is really really cool to see next up is our amazon commissions for this site in november here we had 234 dollars which was okay but november i thought would have been a little bit bigger uh on black friday and stuff like that it wasn't huge it wasn't anything out of the ordinary it seemed to be a lot more consistent here in december we did 300 dollars again it's a nice little increase but it's nothing massive compared to our ad revenue ad revenue is really 
where we're making the money here right now but you can see like how consistent it was across december you know every single day pretty much we're making you know 10 to 20 dollars uh which was really really nice to see so hopefully we can keep that consistency obviously december is probably going to be a better month for affiliate sales than january will be as well as uh January ad revenue is probably going to be down a little bit. However, I'm recording this video quite late in January. It's now currently the 9th and my site touch wood in, you know, we don't take another huge dip, but I've only lost about 25% in terms of my EPMVs this month, which is way, way better than I had expected. I was pretty much bracing myself for like a 50% drop. So I'm actually not seeing a drop in revenue at all. I'm expecting revenue to still go up in January just because right now our traffic is increasing so much. So hopefully we'll actually see in uh, January another increase in our numbers, which I really didn't expect. I expected to get cut down to about like $1,000 uh, in revenue in January or in around there, 1200 something like that. Uh, so it'll be really cool to see that we can maintain that. And then hopefully in February, you know, and coming into March, April, we can really start to see as MEPMVs go up again, really start to see our revenue scale. Next up is our ad revenue. So you can see here how the ad revenue is looking over the past month on the website. So you can see here, this is uh, December and from the 1st of December to the 31st, we made $1,874 in revenue. Our EPMV was $19.51, which was in fact down a little bit from, uh, from November, which I think the EPMV was about $22. You can see here, our visits, 96,000, and page views, as I was talking about earlier, 108,000 uh, in in Ezoic versus the, the Google Analytics. So Ezoic is just picking up, you know, some other page views here that Analytics isn't. Maybe Analytics is just blocking that out automatically as bots or whatnot, uh, and they are getting picked up in here, or just whatever way their tracking works, it's picking up more uh, than analytics is but they're roughly in around the same point there's not a huge disparity there uh, so i'm not going to worry too much about that but as you can see you know 1800 in ad revenue not too shabby for the site in terms of the youtube channel again and didn't do too much work on it this month things stayed pretty much the same doing about 30,000 views here only posted two videos however we are only 150 subscribers away from getting monetized so i fully expect to be monetized by kind of the start of march hopefully we can pick things up if i can get another couple of videos out uh, and potentially hit that thousand subscriber mark a little bit quicker uh, but it'll be cool to hit that and start getting some monetization there because i'd really like to hire someone doing two videos a month uh, potentially four videos a month uh, but if he could do two i could do two then we could really get the youtube channel off to a better start i haven't invested any money or anything in it at this point i'm just trying to get it monetized right now um, and then once it starts producing money we can put more money into it but the site is being really the main focus right now in the first nine days of january or so i have been pumping out a lot of content in terms of articles on the site for December, uh, we published 38 in total. That was between me and two writers. So 38 articles was not too bad, but it was mainly done in the first two weeks of the month. Uh, the last two weeks, just with Christmas shopping, spending time with family, uh, I didn't do as much work. And then also after Christmas, I got COVID and really just didn't do any work at all. I probably should have done something, but pretty much played FIFA for about five days straight. Uh, as I was locked in the house but it is what it is we're back on the grind now in January so that was sort of what we got out in December it was a little less than I would have liked and just to let you guys in on a little bit of information for the next video you'll probably see I've actually already crossed 38 articles this month and it's only the ninth so really pushing hard and much harder than i was last year on content this year to grow this site as quick as possible so we've got a new writer on board who i was able to hire uh coming into the new year there which was really really good and he's going to be producing a minimum of three articles per week so that combined with six from my first writer uh, and at least two a week from the other writer that we have uh, they're going to be producing at least two a week but possibly I think he got four out last week. So if he could get four out every week, that would be really, really cool. Um, so we'll see where things go. But we've got a nice little team together and them three alone should be able to produce 40 to 50 articles uh, per month. And then right now, uh, courtesy of Sean Mars, really just showing me how lazy I was being, to be honest, watching his series right now where he's pumping out a ton of content every single day. Uh, 
I've been trying to do something similar and I've been pushing out a lot of content. I'm maybe going to do a video on last week's. I've kind of been tracking everything I did, but I think last week I pushed out about 25 to 30 articles uh, Monday to Friday, essentially. So doing much, much more than I was previously, which is, you know, much, going to hopefully grow the site much, much faster. So that's pretty much it for this video and the update on this site. But I do want to jump in and show you guys the spreadsheet as always, just to show you guys everything. So this is essentially the growth. If you're new to this video, you've never seen this before. Uh, you can see how the site started back here in January. We had 22 uh, page views to the site, which was probably mostly just me clicking around on different laptops, phones and stuff like that. Then February, we got some growth. But you can really see here, uh, and I think the charts are a much better way to look at this. And this chart, you know, shows us page views from January to December. And we've been really, really lucky not to get hit massively by any updates or anything. And I fully understand that we could get taken out at any moment by a Google update. But our site is growing super steadily here. Things have gone up every single month. And as we get to this level, we're a little bit bigger. You know, we're getting 100,000 page views now. You kind of get a little bit more scared that things are going to start dipping but if we can keep on this trajectory this year the goal is to hit 1 million page views not necessarily on this site alone i'm probably going to start another site here soon i have some other sites on the back burner as well but i think that the site i'm going to be starting uh will probably push it to at least 100,000 page views this year as well uh, and investing a lot more this year putting a lot more money in, trying to grow the team out but things have grown really nicely on this site and I just want to push it as far as we possibly can. Uh, if we take a look here, probably the most interesting thing is profit. So obviously, uh, while last month you can see here, we did hit about $1,800 in revenue. That was very cool, but our profit was only you know slightly under 1,000 here. Whereas this month we did 2,200 and our profit actually hit 1,700. And that was to... Uh, pretty much due to a little bit less in uh, content spend here this month in January is going to be way higher. We're going to spend way more money on content than we have been. Again, our biggest month was, you know, November. We spent nearly 500, but you can see how that has shown in the growth. We're starting to really rank articles very, very quickly. Articles that I am writing, you know, two days ago, I'm going into my analytics and I'm seeing them getting 40, 50 page views over the last two days. So we know things are ranking really quickly and that's why I want to push so hard on this site because you know it's now working, right? We've done that initial year of base building, which things didn't rank quickly. It took us a long time for things to rank. And now we've got this platform that we can push content out on and get traffic much quicker than we could a few months ago. So obviously starting a new site in a different niche, that's going to take a lot of time to build it up to the point where we can actually get traffic and start ranking for articles. So I think it's probably better to put most of the effort into this site because it is just working. And I think focus is something that's, you know, in everything online marketing, I've seen focus is something that a lot of people have a problem with. And I have definitely had a problem with that over the last couple of years. You just see this shiny object syndrome. People think it's better to have nine blogs versus one, but I see people who have one single blog, like you look at Nerd Wallet. I'm not 100% sure, but the guys who founded that, like Nerd Wallet was their project. They didn't set out to build a brand off a portfolio of sites, which some people do and do very well with that, but them guys set out to build Nerd Wallet. That was their business. They focused on one site and did it really well. And them guys are killing it. They're, you know, way, way bigger than any YouTuber out there documenting their journey. And I think that's why I'm doing a little bit less YouTube content this year. I just want to focus on the site more than, than I do YouTube. I just do the work, right? Just get into, get focused uh, and see where we can take this. I'll also show you just here in terms of like how the content ramped up over the year. So you can see here, that's content spend. Let's go to articles posted. So you can see how over the year, I really ramped up the amount of articles that were posted at the start. I'm pretty much posting under 20 every month uh, up until like July here when we did about 30. August pushed again, September, uh, October, our biggest month was 60 articles. And I think we're really starting to see the growth of these articles right now. Uh, and this month in January, I'm aiming for 150 articles, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. We'll see where we go. I'm actually going to hop off this video, post it and start writing. I'm going to start writing. I've been writing way harder uh, than I have, 
you know, over the last couple of years or the last couple of months. Um, again, just check out Sean Mars's videos. He's documenting every single day where he's blogging. He's doing about five to six posts a day himself, uh, which is really, really crazy. Uh, and it definitely motivated me and a lot of other people. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, there's no face cam. I have a ridiculous, ridiculous ulcer on my lip and it's horrible looking and no one needs to look at that. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.